The work that CCEJ does is important for me because I've heard too many stories of people's pain, of their trauma related to race, racism, discrimination. And when you hear those stories of pain, the only thing that you wanna do is to help, is to change the oppression, to change the systems that continue to discriminate and continue to create inequity in our communities. And so CCEJ brings people together to appreciate the fact that we are much more like one another than we are different and that our differences in fact can be celebrated rather than feared. CCEJ has been doing this for decades now very effectively uh, and I am proud to have been able to uh, be part of the process that helps move this community and, and others now to a greater sense of unity. The three programs of CCEJ are Building Bridges for Youth program, which is a wonderful way to get young people between the ages of middle school and high school involved with talking about anti-oppression work and really understanding all the number of isms that our society has. And through this program, we're able to really shape a generation of youth leaders. Another program CCEJ offers is our Healing Harms Conflict Transformation Program in which we serve 100 families throughout the region doing youth justice diversion work. Our Illuminar Training and Coaching for Justice Program is an awesome offering that allows us to work with over 100 organizations a year doing work around restorative justice and anti-bias. For the last five years, CCEJ has been honored to be a restorative justice thought leader and partner in the community. We have been able to train a number of schools and workplaces on restorative justice practices that really center on relationship building and on the, on the concept of what I do affects you, what you do affects me, and that this is how we all work in community together. And once we understand this fundamental concept, that we're all connected at the end of the day, we can start to really build relationships that are about caring for the other person, that are about understanding the other person's perspective. And in that, we can move forward with issues of harm, pain, trauma, and accountability. CCJ has risen to meet the needs of our community in this past year by first and foremost being there, by being consistent, by being supportive, and by holding space for people, no matter what position, no matter where they are on the spectrum of this important work. We have been there to invite people in and ask them to share how they're feeling, to share how they're doing, and to help educate them and really meet them where they are. By participating in CCEJ's broad array of programs, whether it's with young people or with adults, the opportunity to grow in what I would call intimacy in our interactions with others breaks down those stereotypes. It wipes away many of the biases that we all have about others. People come to more deeply appreciate who they are and they're much more able to relate to others who are different and this is enormously enriching just in our own humanity people should support ccj's work right now because it is so critical that our community that our society finds a way to address racial justice and racial injustice in a way that it never has before these issues are centuries old and certainly we've made progress and we need to make more progress. We need more reform. We need more education. We need more dialogue around bias, bigotry and racism. If we are really going to enter spaces where people feel safe, where people feel like equity is accessible and where people feel included. The greater number of people who are generous with CCEJ are really making an investment in helping to upbuild our community, which benefits everyone. Sit in on a dialogue, sit in on a training, sit in when people have those aha moments, when they 
understand something for the first time, when they make connections that they haven't made before, when they learn new language and new vocabulary related to racial injustice. When you hear all of these conversations and you experience these moments, you know that the work is possible and then a new world is possible, a better way is possible. It's, we have a teaching in, uh, in the Jewish tradition. You're not expected to complete the work of perfecting God's creation, but neither are you permitted to refrain from doing it. CCEJ represents that effort beautifully, powerfully, and that's why I'm so proud to be associated with it.